Hi, thank you for watching my presentation. My name is Hou Xiang Wu. I'm a PhD student in music tech program at New York University. Today, I'm presenting my work titled "Exploring Modality Agnostic Representations for Music Classification." I would like to thank all my collaborators, Magdalena and Huang. Let's get start. Music information is often conveyed or recorded across multiple data modalities, such as audio, image, text, and scores. However, music information retrieval research has mostly focused on single modality recognition, requiring the development of separate models for each modality. There are multimodal works which require multiple coexisting modalities given to the model as inputs. Constraining the use of these models to the few cases where data from all modalities are available. Therefore, we're interested in exploring models that can interact with information in any common form. We select instrument classification as an example task for our study, as both visual and audio components provide relevant semantic information. The goal of this work is to first explore ways to design modality-agnostic music instrument classifier, which can take both images and audio as input and be able to make prediction with only one classifier. We also experiment one application idea of this modality-agnostic classifier in a scenario where we have more label data in one modality but limited label data from the other. Here is our methods. First, we extract embeddings using pre-trained embedding algorithms from each modality. For example, in image we use ResNet VGG, and in audio we use YumNet and OpenL3. Second, we train a simple MLP layers to project two embedding space into a shared space through contrastive learning by using pairs of audio and images sampled from audio set YouTube videos. Where audio and image comes from the same time frame as positive pairs, and random sampled from other clip as negative pairs. Note: We didn't use audio set labels to train the translation. It is trained in self-supervised manner via positive and negative pairs. We then evaluate how well the translation models do by cross-model retrieval task, and we use this to select best-performing pre-trained embedding models. Which is the combination of ResNet and YumNet. We also apply PCA only for dimensional reduction to make sure that both image and audio embeddings are the same dimension, which is 128. This is for baseline comparison. Further, we take both projected embeddings from translation and PCA and train a classifier with different amount of data from each modality. Here we show our main results. As you can see, the orange line is the classifier trend with only data from the same modality as the test data. The red boxes indicate classifier trend with PCA embeddings, with all data from one modality and mixed in different amount of data from target modality. We can see that by mixed in data from target modality, we're able to achieve similar performance as single modality. However, Each modality contributes independently to the classifier, so we need data from target modality to perform well in classification. Then we look at the blue boxes on the left, where we train the classifier with the projected embeddings from translation model. We can see that without any data used in training from the target modality, we can still achieve roughly 70% of the best performing system. However, Adding more data in the target modality only helps slightly, and not able to achieve the best performance at the end. We think that this might be because of imbalanced data set we used in training the translation. Even we don't use the labels. A better unsupervised sampling methods, such as determinantal point processes, might help to provide more diverse sampling in a more efficient manner. Please refer to our paper for more detailed discussions. To sum up, we found that both image and audio embeddings performing better in single modality also perform better after projection and in modality agnostic classifier setting. Translation helps to bring closer the same instrument in different modalities. 
Therefore, we're able to perform zero-shot classification with roughly 70% of the best performing system in our experiments. For our future work, we're interested in exploring better unsupervised sampling methods and develop contrastive methods more specific to multimodal data to better leverage the different characteristics from different modalities. Also, we are interested in exploring different training scenarios. Besides the sequential pipeline which we present in this paper, ideas such as designing regularizers to force the distance between the embeddings of two modalities closer. Thank you so much for your attention. Please come to our poster session if you have any questions.